Rare is a really special place. Most artists who come through Rare, the majority of the materials that they're using to make their work is coming from the waste stream. If there's old stuff, I'm on it. We're situated within Revolution Recovery, the construction and demolition waste recycling facility. They don't charge us rent. We don't have to pay for any of the materials. And they bring through about 550 tons of material daily. Ooh, it's a gold mine for an artist. It makes you question so much of what we consume and how we behave as consumers. My name is Billy Dufala. I am the co-founder and creative director at Rare Recycled Artists in Residency. I'm the sculptor who jumps into dumpsters, breaks into abandoned buildings. I was doing that before I even graduated from high school. It was adventure. It was also economically motivated because I was poor and quickly became about sustainability. And here we go, we got a clean out. That's a thing that artists do gravitate towards. It's kind of like being a kid in the candy store. Oh yeah. You get that architectural salvage, but you also get the weird ephemera, heirloom items that nobody cares about anymore. You can imagine a lot of material that comes through here. You just have to dust it off, clean it up, and put it in a frame and hang it on a wall. It's art. This is where the dumpsters tip. You can't walk through the yard and not see something that's interesting that you pick up and you put in your pocket. It's just like a tchotchke graveyard. This is the project space. We only serve five or six artists a year. A lot of it is sculpture, but we have filmmakers, we have photographers. Oh wow. Revolution Recovery, they divert 50% of the material that comes through here from landfill. They make money by doing that. Shrink wrap. Without their inexhaustible support, Rare wouldn't exist. We're a nonprofit. We've been running the program since 2014. We consider it an art and industry collaboration. Funny to see a trash compactor in the trash. When it comes to climate change, when it comes to the finite resources available, looking at the industry that drives this kind of glut and waste, this is not your municipal curbside cans and bottles recycling. This is big industry. This is gentrifying neighborhoods. This is manufacturing waste. For us, spearheading a creative entity within that industry is a great way to shed light on this story. Really, we want people to think about their material footprint. We offer public tours in the spring and the summer, and we will be offering Zoom tours throughout the rest of the year. As far as I know, there's no other places in this city where you can kind of get that up close and personal look. Oh, hey. But we also consider this an immersive experience for creative practice. You guys want to walk around to see the Superfund? There's an 11 acre remediated Superfund site adjacent to this property. And the owners of Revolution Recovery, they bought that land. We've been given permission to figure out how to expand rather than it being like a vacant field it being a site for cultural production. It's another chapter in what is in some ways this crazy art project.